Esports is professional gaming. It's basically what you see now on ESPN. They're broadcasting Street Fighter. They just recently broadcasted uh, Smash Brothers. And um, now they're actually getting a hand in League of Legends as League of Legends has been growing and Riot has been pushing uh, their game immensely. People are now noticing how professional gamers could actually make a living off of it. I'm an esports broadcaster. I basically travel and I analyze different types of games and I work with different companies. And react to what the other opponent is doing. Right, so how the game normally works mechanic wise is a rock, paper, scissor game. You want to always be one step ahead of your opponent and understand what beats what. So, you know, you always have to be one step ahead and understand if you do manage to win that trade, you do manage to get a lot out of it, like critical that deals extra damage. I get on the mic and I commentate games. I am like the John Madden of video games. <laughs> and what I mean by that is I kind of sit down at a mic with a, a co-commentator and we talk about what's happening play by play, we add in some humor, but we also have to account the newer audience that is tuning into the stream so that way we can educate them on what's happening so that way they're not completely lost. My favorite game to commentate as well as uh, play, uh, not so much Overwatch, but Smash Brothers. You have to understand what each character in a fighting game can do, what their options are you know, there for, for them to kind of uh, take control over the neutral. And what I mean by neutral is uh, what you could do in a position and how you could put your other opponent in a disadvantage and what you could do to capitalize off of that. Kind of like a game of chess. Um, it's always like a mental game. It, it goes beyond the whole button pressing situation.